I'm ready to go to school. I'm promised to give you my school fees today. Okay, good. See ya. Mm -hmm. Here it is, huh? Yeah? I couldn't get the whole money. So this is half. Tell them to manage this for the meantime. Before the week runs out, I will complete it. Papa, they don't pay school fees half and half. Nobody will accept it from me. If my school fees is not ready, let me sit at home until it's ready. There is no point going to school because they'll send me home. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Okay. Let, let's be wise, yeah? You keep it. Mm -hmm. If I decide to keep it now, I might be tempted to use it for something else. But I'll go and play coupon. Uh, oh, what of my trousers? What of your trousers? Yesterday evening I patched it again. Uh -huh. Open could the tailor say that the material is now weak. That if it says again, I have to get a new pair of trousers. Let it tear first. Hmm? Let it tear first. I don't have money. By the way, so Open could the only tailor in this community. If you can patch it, I'm not tailor can patch it. My son, eh? Fine, well, keep that in somewhere. Well. Keep it somewhere. Huh? to me right from the day I was employed here as a driver is to make sure I drop her school first thing every morning after taking her to the shop. And what if I don't want to buy the car? Will you force me? Listen to me, Dorothy. You're a very small girl. And I do not expect you to insult me whether your mother is rich or not. Believe in me. I am here to do my job. And part of my job is to make sure I drop you at school. Not here to exchange words with a small girl like you. Well, from today I want to start checking. My school is not far. It's not even up to 30 minutes walk from here. Tell your mother first. If you say it's okay, no problem. But for now, I must drop your school. Hey, okay then, I'm not going to school today. I'm not good. Uh, fine. At, at least we know that we don't want to go to school today. Good. Uh, I'm so sorry to enter the car. Is it by force? Every time, can I not be free in this house and every time, every time. Uh, it's not my fault. That is how rich people's life is. Huh? Young love with young hearts Tender love tenderly grows Destined to be close to each other Our love is wide like fire Admires each other Ready to die for each other Shares our problem, shares our heartbreaks Nothing can separate our love Only if our feet moves with our hearts
next time, make sure you come to school very, very late. And you, Samuel, you've not paid your school fees. You come to school very late. By the time I finish with you, you know me better. Talk. Stupid. Hey, shut up! Nonsense. I make sure I will deal with you people seriously today. Hey, 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 come here. Join them here. Quick. Okay. Fast, 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 fast. All right, my friend.
but, but I, I'm sorry for making you come late and for making the teacher flag here. You didn't make me come late. I wanted to wait for you. You didn't force me. Uh, I know. Still, I'm sorry. It's alright. Problem. Take some biscuits. Are you okay? I'm worried about my school fees. My dad only gave me half of the money. How? The school won't accept half. I know. He said I should hold it till he completes it. Don't worry about it, okay? God will help him and he will complete it. Things have been very difficult for us at home. Sometimes I wonder if God knows that we even exist. Don't worry. God sees everything and everywhere at the same time. Now, sometimes I wish I was growing up and working. I would have given you money to complete your school fees. By the time you're growing up, I must have grown up and even be working. By that time, I would pay my school by myself. In fact, by that time, I would even be in school. I would have finished school by then. Oh, that's true. Are you ready for the song we have on Monday? Mm, I need to. I just need to work on my voice more. You know, I wouldn't like to spoil the song for you when we sing together. <laughs> you. You sing like an angel. I call like a frog. But you can't spoil the song for me. Like. Everybody in school knows you sing very well. That's why they chose you to sing for the last parents day last month. And now they've chosen me again to sing for the school music drama. Wait, can I have some more biscuits? I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Why not? Take I'm okay. Okay, thank you. Don't worry, I'm angry. I didn't even want to talk to you. Young love with young hands. Tender love tenderly grows Destined to be close to each other Our love is wide like fire Admires each other Ready to die for each other Shares our problems, shares our heartbreaks Nothing Dirty My love Are you fine? I am uh, happy to write you this letter. Let me tell you secret boldly. That you are the sun in my day light, the, the moon in my night sky, the Stars in my dream. One day I will become a very rich boy and I will buy you a fine car. I am writing this letter from the Deepest and loveliest part of my my heart. Until you. Okay.
บายพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราชาพระราเส้นหาดของฉันในประเทศนี้และฉันเป็นคนที่เศร้าโอ้โหพวกเขาที่เขาเขียนหนังสือและคนที่ดีๆพวกเขาจะมีเงินค่าเรียนในเวลาที่ถูกต้องฉันหวังว่าฉันจะได้รับเงินในวันนี้ฉันจะได้รับเงินในวันนี้ฉันจะได้รับเงินในวันนี้ฉันจะได้รับเงินในวันนี้ฉันจะได้รับเงินในวันนี้ Yes, to who? Let that to my poor father. <laughs> read it, let me hear. Uh, Papa, it's too long ago. Uh, are, are you not tired? Mm -hmm. Just read this more for me. Let me see how, how intelligent my son is. Okay. Dear father, mm -hmm. how are you? Fine. I know things are difficult for you in this country. Very difficult. Why don't you travel abroad? Huh? Since my mother died, I've been managing, managing. When will I stop managing? I continue, but forget the abroad. Don't continue. Papa, that is all I've been doing for now. Papa. Who told you to write this letter? Okay, he's uh, our teacher. He said we should choose on any topic of our choice. And you chose to write to your poor father. Uh, Papa, this is the one I understand very well. My son, one day, one day, you will write a letter to your rich father. Amen. I will, Amen. I will not remember. Amen. I will be rich before you finish your second school. Amen. Amen. No, I was just passing. I was passing. Who are you talking to and signaling to? No, no nobody. Oh. I was just passing from there. I was just going like that. I see. Yes, my dear. There's a paper at the gate. Get it for me. I'm curious. Okay. Madam, I was going on an errand before you come. Okay, you can go. How old are you? How old are you, Dora? 
Dorothy. How old? And a boy is writing you this kind of letter. At this age, for goodness sake, it is too early. Very too early. If you start to receive this kind of letter from stupid boys who have no dime in their pocket, that means you will encourage them to bring a mattress into my sitting room right under my very nose to lay with you before you are 20 or 22. <sighs> Bobo, is that not his name? Is that not his name? Answer me, Dorothy. Don't you talk anymore. Tell me what I saw at the gate when I was coming in that said his name was Bobo. Yes, mommy. Where does he live? I don't know, mommy. You don't know? You don't know where a boy that writes you stupid letter lives? Now you tell me where he lives so that I can go and meet there. his parents so they will hold their son. If I see him near this house or near you again, and you deal with him in a way they will not like. Now you tell me, where does he live? I don't know. Oh, God. Where did you meet him? On the street? Um, um, we attend the same school. That thing is in secondary school? Taking this lightly with you. Because this is the first time I am noticing this. Are you hearing me? Now, I want to give you an advice. If you want to grow up and become responsible like your mother, stay away from boys, stay away from their letters. You are only 14. And if I see you meddling with that boy, or any other boy for that matter, you will be sorry. Okay? I will not tolerate it. Now go to your room and start to read your books. That is what you should be doing at this age. Now get. Get your room! Stupid girl. On yonder hill there stands a creature Who she is I do not know I'm gone caught her for her beauty She must answer yes or no Oh no John no John no John no John no John no My father was a Spanish captain Went to sea a month ago First he kissed me, then he left me. Madam, will you stay with me? Oh no, John, no, John, no, John, no, John, no, John, no. Oh, madam, I will give you jewels. I will make you rich and free. I will give you silken dresses. Madam, will you marry me? Oh no, John, no, John, no, John, no, John, no, John, no. Oh, madam, on your face is beauty, on your lips red roses grow. If I may not be your lover, madam, will you let me go? Oh, no, John, no, John, no, John, no, John, no, John, no. Good performance! Bravo, 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 bravo. That was a very good performance. Um, Justin and Co. Come out, so let's so, let's see here, yo. <clears throat> let's go. One, two, go. The more we are together. No, 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 no. Stop that. You people are not together. It goes like this. The more we are together. You move together. To are you getting me? All right, let's go. One, two, go. The more we are together, together, together. The more we are together, the happier we shall be. Let's go again. 
the more we are together, 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 the more we are together, the happier we shall be. To your friends and my friends and my friends and your friends, the more we are together, the happier we shall be. The more we are together, 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 the more we are together, the happier we shall be. To your friends and my friends and my friends and your friends, the more we are together, the happier we shall be. The more we are together, 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 the more we are together, the happier we shall be. To your friends and my friends and my friends and my friends. You too. It's personal, you know, you and I. I think it's because we like each other. Sometimes I wish you'd come to my house freely. My mom would understand. That reminds me. What? She nearly killed me on Saturday when she found your letter. Oh, I'm sorry. I could have stuck it in the gate. You know, I didn't know where to keep it that I would find it easily. Did she beat you? No. But she wanted to stay. Uh, she told me I was too young to receive lo love letters and she wanted me to stay away from boys. But I'm not close to any other boy. It's only you, and that's because you are brilliant and the fellas in the same singing team. And now you're my friend. I like you, Dorothy. I like you too. My mom was surprised when I told her you were in secondary school. <laughs> she said you were poor. <laughs> She's right. Uh, I'm a poor boy, but everybody's not meant to be rich, you know. That's true. Oh my god. I would start a driver. Let's, let's touch you now. Don't worry, you have seen us already. Um, don't worry, I'll talk to you later tomorrow during break time, okay? Let's touch you. Don't worry, you have seen us already. Don't worry. Dorothy, come here. Um, bye. Bye. Want you to stay away from? What are you still doing with him? And huh? How does it concern you? Are oh, you now my mother? I will report you to your mother. But anyway, you're talking to me. I'm now your mate, man. And do you think I'll beg you not to report? You're just a wide and sport girl. Okay then, if you call me to my mother, then I'll also report you. <laughs> but I did what? That you called me a wild and sports girl. Or do you think she'll happy to know that you called me? See, let me report her first. Yeah, you can hit at me. You can hit at me. I don't blame you. I became your mate. I, I, well, I became a driver in your house. Mm. 
I saw her with Boba again. And these days, she challenges me too much as if I'm her age mate. All because I told her to listen to you. Stay away from that Bobo and be a very good girl. That is all. Oh, Sita. Yes, madam. Leave us. Go and wash the car. Madam. Did you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Do you know why I asked the driver to leave us? Because he's a driver. You are my daughter. My own blood. And even if he's right, you cannot take sides with him against you. I must respect you as little as you are now. The question is, do you respect yourself? If I, your mother, who bore you, respects you, do you respect yourself? How do you think people will look at you when they see you gallivanting along the road with that, that thing that should be hugging oranges? How do you think they will look at me? But, Mom, we're just walking, not gallivanting. Shut, 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 shut your mouth! I say you were gallivant. Have I not warned you against that boy? All right. What were the two of you talking about? Um, you just told me sorry for the letter I wrote, and you found it and scolded me. Um, then we're now talking about the song we sang at school today. Sang? Yes, ma'am. What sang? Um, our school is preparing for an inter-class singing competition. So Bobo and I were paired as one of the teams that represent my class. Go on. What else did he tell you? He told me... No, I told him... Um, yeah, I told him... I told him that you were surprised when I told you he was in secondary school. And that you said he was poor. And he laughed and said, not everybody has to be rich. Um, I'll stack him and picks me up with the car. I see. Since you've refused to listen to me, and I've also refused to stay away from that boy, you will see what I will do. Go Parents on, could not say they my heart. Go and eat your food. Not even tear they my heart. This is a natural Go and eat your food now. Oh, look at me, stop rising. Don't go. Go. Ah. No one was able to keep them apart. Go. They are bound to be one. They are bound to be one. No one was able to keep them apart. Now, all of you here whose names we are called out should quietly go to your seats, pack your books and your bag and go home. We have exhausted our patience. Now do that. Why get back with you? Tell your parents to 
give you two fees. Look at this food. Come here, next time, make sure you talk it very well. Come on, go! Ma'am, you can carry on with your lectures. Thank you, sir. Um, Joshua, you, what are the literal terms? You don't know, eh? Very good. What are the literal terms? You do not know. What are the literal terms? What are you doing outside the school compound? After he left, I quickly excused myself to renate Then I sneak out after giving the gate man to now. Uh, go, go back to school. You, you, you get into trouble with your court. I know. Um, how much is your school bill remaining? I have 5,000 and the remaining 5,000. Um, I've come to her that I'll complete it for you. Uh, I want you back in school tomorrow. How, how? How will you get the money? I don't know. Just come around my house tomorrow morning. Then I'll give the money to you so that I can pay before class you should dream. Because there won't be any other time for me to give you, except during break. And by then, they'll have sent you home again. Okay, thank you. But how do you intend to get the money? I don't know. Just come around my house tomorrow. Try a tiny stone at my window to let me know you're around. Okay. Th thank you. And uh, now, hurry back to school before you get into trouble. Okay. Go, go, go. Bye bye. Drink good water. He got it from a dirty pond and gave his wife and daughter. Now he starts a weeping, weeping, weeping. Now he starts a weeping. Oh, my wife and daughter. Oh, my wife and daughter. Beautiful. Brilliant. 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 Now, uh, where's Janet? Janet, come out. Let's hear from you, okay? 
Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go. Soldier, soldier, will you marry me? Oh yes, I will marry you tomorrow. I cannot marry such a beautiful girl when I have no suit to wear. She ran, ran, ran to the shop. I find this suit to wear. Now, soldier, put it on. Soldier, soldier, will you marry me? Oh yes. I need performance. I need more action. In our next rehearsal, you have to put more life to it. Do you understand? Good, go back. Uh, Dorothy, let's hear from you. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves on a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French hairs, two turtle doves on a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me four calling beds, three French hens, two turtle doves, a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me five gold rings, four calling beds, three French hens, two turtle doves, a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me six is a lane. Five gold rings, four calling beds, three French hens, two turtle doves, a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love said to me, six ladies as a six is a lane, five gold rings, four calling beds, three French hens, two turtle doves, a partridge in a pear tree. Beautiful. I ask the two of you again, which one is the thief in this house? Which one of you, Osita and Mercy, went to my handbag and stole my 5,000 Naira? Madam, I am not the one. Mercy. Madam, I didn't take any money from your bag. You know I wouldn't do that. Mm. <laughs> so, the money removed itself, right? You know what is making me angry? It is not the amount that is taken. But it is the fact that I have a thief in my house. Listen to me, both of you. You will swear with the Bible for me. You will swear with the Bible for me, oh! Madam, have you asked Dorothy? Don't even go there. Don't you even go there. My daughter might be a little bit stubborn, but she is not a thief. You hear me? She is not a thief. Well, just to observe all protocols, I will call her to satisfy both of you. But I swear to God, you will swear with the Bible for me or be ready to sleep in cell tonight. Hey. Dorothy! Dorothy, dear! Yes, honey. Pardon. Um, did you take any money from mommy's bag? Oh, no, darling. See, I don't want you to be upset, okay? I just want these two big thieves, liars, to hear with their ears that my daughter is not a thief. But she did not take money from my bag. Okay? So, my darling, did you take money from Mommy's bag? Yes, Mommy, I did. and I'll sit down. You can go back to your duty post now, okay?
notice since when? Since when have you become a thief? Oh my God. Just look at the embarrassment you've just caused me. I must have looked like a fool before the cook and the driver. All on account of you. All because of you. The worst thing is that you shed crocodile tears whenever you do something wrong. As if you were drunk when you came into my room and went to my room and stole my money. What did you do with the money? Where is my money? Ask me naughty! Wipe those annoying tears off your face! Answer me, where is the money? I, I gave it to the boy to use to complete his fears because his father only gave him half. What? What? Oh my god! My own daughter. At this age, you have started to give boys money? Oh my god. Daddy! What did he tell you? Did he beg you to complete his school fees? Did he charm you? Are you a fool? How many men do you see me, your mother, give money to? Hey? Do you watch me at all? What do you learn from me? For goodness sake, Dorothy! Men are supposed to give women money, not the other way around! You think I'm going to beat you? I will not! I will not! The other time he wrote you a love letter, I said I will deal with him. But I reneged. I changed my mind. For this time, I will make good my threat! Let me see how I will be alive and you will become a foolish girl. I will deal with you, I will deal with that boy. Now, get out of my room! Threats could not even tear them apart. This is a natural law that no one was ever to keep them apart. They are bound to that be. That boy, Bobo, is a trickster. He tricked my daughter and convinced her into stealing my money so that she can give it to him to pay his school fees. Until her association with, 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 with him, such a thing was unheard of in my daughter's life. Well, madam, um, it is a good thing you deemed it necessary to report the matter to me. Um, that boy must be punished. Be rest assured. Oh, please, please punish him. Punish him very well. Else, next time, who knows what scandalous thing he might ask her to do. Yes, I can assure you, we must use everything in our power to dissuade such future behavior. But I will advise you talk to your daughter. Advise her not to listen to Bobo again. Or to anybody who will ask her to take your money and give to Bobo or any other person. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And you're doing a great work, sir. Thanks. I have to be on the way now. Okay. Thank you. My regards to your family. Thank you, sir. Okay.
Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Stop crying. Sorry, Sorry now. from very rich homes who can even make one simple correct sentence. Are you talking to me in that one? Dorothy! Dorothy! Oh, Osika! Osika! Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. Listen, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, I want you to be on the lookout for that little brat, Bobo. If you see him within this compound, up and down the street, inside this estate, Outside this estate, within the estate, anywhere. Catch him for me. I want to know who his father is. So that he can tell him to stop coming here. This thing is really getting out of hand. Can you imagine? Dorothy warning me, screaming at me. I want this show never end. I hope you understand me. You can go.
with any boy. By the way, how old are you? Uh, I am 16 now. 16? And you are this small and scraggy? That means you don't feed well. Anyway, it's to be expected. Now listen to me. And listen well. I thank God that you know you're two years older than my daughter. Hmm? She doesn't even know the location of her breast yet. You are an old man already. So, you look for girls your age. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Number two. She's not meant for people like you. People of low bet class and status. Stay away from my daughter and I mean it. If I ever see you near her again, if I see you near her again, you'll be surprised at what I'll do to you. Do you hear me? You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Rosita. Yes, madam. That is address for me. Thereafter, throw him out. Alright. Oh yeah. What do you uh, your house address, oh yeah? Bring your your body and get your house. Bring your body and get your I will slap you now. into your son's ear that there is and has always been 
a big dividing line between the rich and the poor. The peasants associate with peasants, and the bourgeois associate with the bourgeois. Or did you expect him to learn without being taught? I blame you that your son comes to our house to disturb our peace. I blame you for the love letters that your son writes my daughter. I blame you. Because if you had taught him to remain in his own poor part of the world, he would have accepted his place and remain there and not come to our own rich part of the world to disturb our peace. Hmm. Madam, actually, I don't blame you at all. Rather, I blame my son for all these insults you have heaped on me this morning. I'm not normally given to wrong speech, so I will not react. When my son comes back today, he and I will have a talk. <laughs> What could you possibly have to say when you so negligently avoid your responsibilities? Are you not aware that he has paid his school fees? Did you ask him how he got the money? Was it not half of the fees that you gave to him? Your son cunningly convinced my daughter to steal my money so that he can complete his school fees. I find that totally distasteful. He is a bad influence on her. She has never stolen anything in her entire life. Because there's no need. If it's okay, madam, madam, please listen. listen. Me, have you come to my house to shout at me? Quarrel with me? Insult me? No, I, I, I will not quarrel with you. Huh? Like I said, once my son gets back today, we will talk. Oh, better talk to him and talk to him well. Because if I see him name my daughter, God help me. I will have him arrested and dumped in cell. And I promise he will not see daylight in a hurry. Hmm. Oh.